Greetings and welcome to Neon Noodles. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I kind of wish that there's like a splash th thing that comes up and it looks really nice as compared to like this is already the tutorial. But um, anyway, thank you to the devs for giving me a key to play this game for you today. This is a factory game in the lines of like Automa Chef. And if you haven't seen me play that game, it's like a specific room size and you're making a factory within the room so it's not like an infinite builder like factorio it's more like a puzzle kind of game um and like automa chef this game also has um you know conveyor belts as well as robots and you need to program the robots in edit in order to get them to do what you want them to do now i have done all of the tutorials so far so we're just going to jump right in um and start. So basically there's a cute story going on here um, where the guy is telling you you're basically like this is some dystopian future where the company like literally owns your brain for 25 years and you have to work for them and stuff. So anyway um, we're just gonna start on the first real level and then we can go. All right so <clears throat> fried rice. So we're gonna click this new design create. Oh, what is this? Wow. Okay, so we have stuff that's already locked. That's what the lock symbol means. We can't move it or anything. Um, <coughs> most of the tutorial levels were very freeform. So this is like, oh, uh, what's happening here? This is weird. Um, what we're given, though, is we have the recipes over here, which is kind of nice uh, because it tells us exactly what to do here. Um, so we have the recipe for rice, which is basically you have rice on a boiling station, and wait, you have to wait, makes boiled rice. And then we have chicken uh, with a cutting station makes uh, cut chicken. Looks like it makes two cut chicken, in fact. Um, and then we have this one, vegetables on a cutting station with two actions makes cut vegetables. And then when you put all these together in a frying pan, you and two weights and you get fried rice. Okay. Uh, this is, <laughs> this is complicated, uh, but it's fine. It will be fine. Um, it will be fine. Anyway, uh, let's start. I kind of sometimes like to start from the end of the process. Sometimes that makes things easier. So we're just going to click here. Um, so this, this is like the turn in station. This is like, send it out to the customers kind of thing. And, um, so we're going to start at the very end so at near the end we need to have a frying station so let's put a frying station right here <clears throat> okay and we need a robot here okay to pick from here and go there now what do we need in the frying station we need vegetables um and they need to be cut Let's see, what if we put a frying station here? Can we like double duty this maybe? Maybe. Regular bot. Um, we can try. No, maybe not. I don't know. This, this is complicated. Uh, anyway, so let's see. Where do we get the vegetables from? I don't like this divider in the middle. This is quite annoying. Oh, you know what? We can't put that there because we need the bot to carry probably the rice over here. Okay, so let's put the frying station or put the cutting station here and maybe this bot goes here. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, we can have a vegetable station there. So vegetable gets cut and goes into there. Um, and maybe we have the chicken station over here and another bot over here. We're going to try to do some interesting stuff here. Okay. So here we want to do a, let's put the boiling station here and we'll put a bot starting right here. So rotate to left. All right, let's get rid of this bot for now. Let's just delete these. We'll just take one section at a time, right? Okay, so I want this bot to do all the rice cooking. So let's start programming, which we click record. So we're going to pick up the rice. 
that is uh, denoted by the asterisk. So the asterisk basically is a usually a um, well, it can represent pretty much any action. Um, and in this case, it's picking up rice. It's, it's like automatic. It's smart that way uh, most of the time. Anyway, <clears throat> so then we click this. We turn, turn. So the bot has to change directions. And we put it in the pot. Then we click a wait symbol because remember, we have to wait for the rice to cook. So we're going to wait then pick it up again. So we're going to click it again and then go here, walk there, go and then put it down on the conveyor. And then we're going to do return to start. Okay. So that is how to cook one rice. Let's just make sure that that works. Okay. We're getting it. We're putting it on the conveyor. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. So now we reset, reset this. Um, this, I feel, I don't know, we could speed this thing up by having another bot here. I'm not sure if we want to do that. Let's start on bot two right now. And we're just going to pick up the chicken and then put it on the thing and then cut it. Oops. Oh yeah, we have to cut. Okay. And then we're going to tell it to return to start. Uh, oh no, we could actually pick it up again and then put it here. Okay and then return to start. Actually, we could just delete this, get out of there and tell this one to rotate to the right. So let's try to do this. Let's see, picking up chicken, cutting chicken, and, oh, oh no, we have to put this in the frying pan. Oh no. Okay, we have to put it in the frying pan first. Whoops. Okay, so I messed that up. Um, all right, let's right click. So we need a... This is annoying the way this is set up here. Uh, we could move this up there and have a little bit more room. And have this bot... Um, let's see when you're, when you're here picking up the rice, mm. oh no, 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 that's, we want you to drop it here instead. We'll just, it doesn't really matter. It'll be fine. Um, all right. So I'm not trying to go for the lowest number of instructions or anything like that. It'll be fine. We just need to, to figure it out. Um, okay. So I think we'll, we can have a cutting station here and then a frying pan over here. This is the worst part of this stuff. It's like, oh my God, where are we getting stuff? Though we could um, technically make it on this side and have it go over. That's another option. But I think what we'll do is we'll put a cutting station over, say, here to cut the vegetables and then we put them back in the fryer. So this one moves up there. This one, let's start with this one. So we're going to record. We have, let's walk through this. Okay, now we need to go to here, clonk, pick up. There we go. Put it in there, go here, drop it there. Okay. There. And then we'll just delete these instructions from that. And then we go re restart. Okay. Let's try that and see if that works. Okay. So this goes there, cut, fry. Oh, we forgot to fry it. Oh no, no, no. We don't need to fry it. Um, in there, we just put it in and everything fries together. So the last bot is going to be the one frying it and putting it in there. So we'll just remember that. Okay. So, um, it's probably not going to be this bot. I think, I think this bot, uh, yeah. So we'll go here. So we'll just put it in the fryer. Um, and then put it in here and then return. Right? Right. We're putting this in the fryer. No, no. In the fryer. Ah, that's right. In the fryer only. 
and then return. <clears throat> okay, so now let's get the next spot. Let's, let's try that and see what that does. Okay, there it goes. All right, that's perfect. That's what we want. So now this bot, we're going to start with, what are we going to start with here? We need to start with probably slicing the vegetables. I think, I think we can do that. We can put this one here. Okay. So let's start with you rotate to the right. We're going to pick up, whoops, let's pick up the vegetables. Then we rotate, get them sliced. They need to be sliced twice and then pick up and then those go into the frying pan. Okay. And then, um, actually I think I might want to reprogram this bot because I feel like it's going to take too long. Okay. So we have, let's, let's see what that does. Let's just go there. Okay. We're slicing. Oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. Oh no. All right. Maybe then need, we need to do another slice. Maybe. I don't know. Sometimes it's, it's really confusing here. It says two cutting actions, but it's not doing what we expect it to. Oh, now it's working. Um, yeah. So that, whoops, stop, stop. Okay, dude. Okay. Just hold on. Hold on, dude. So, all right. So that happened. Um, now this one, let's change this one a bit. Uh, we'll put this one. Uh, here, maybe we're just going to completely reprogram this one. Okay, rotate to top, uh, record, just delete everything here. Okay. So let's get rice, go here, cook, uh, wait, then pick up again, then walk and then drop and then return. Okay. So this is the point where we, we should get in one turn, we still, we have to wait for the conveyor belts to move as well. So let's see what happens here. Okay. All right. So let's click on number one bot and record. Okay. So this hopefully is being put into there. Now let's go up here, go here. And then this is well after the rice is cooked. So we go take this, go back, go down and add to the rice. And then we need soy sauce. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Where does this soy sauce stuff come from? Oh no. All right. Anyway, we'll, we'll figure that out with the next robot. Hold on. Um, oh, how do we get soy sauce there? Oh no. Um, Oh, I know. I know. It'll be fine. Uh, let's see. I don't know where source has come from. So we'll figure it out. Two cooking, then pick it up and then put it in the done pile. Okay. And then reset. So now let's figure out where soy sauce comes from. Here it is. So this should be fine. They should be able to move and we put in a new bot here. Oh my God. This is so complicated. So bot, hello, record pick up and drop off and then return. Okay. So let's see if this works. Oh, oh, rice. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. We got it. So now the game, now that it senses we got one working. Oh no, something wrong happened. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what went wrong. I think it's something with this one. So number one, let's watch what it does and try to figure this out. Okay. So we get the vegetable slice, vegetables put in rice, put in. Okay. Put in now. Okay. For some reason, number one, uh, did not repeat properly. So let's see, let's go back. And so from number one, it should go back and start properly. If we do this return to start button 
And then if we go home, oh, home doesn't work here. Hello? No? Okay. All right. That's, wait, how do I move to the left? Oh, A. Okay. That's not great. Wait, no. What is this? What the heck is this? What's going on? Oh, I'm pressing A to, oh God. All right. We have to just clear this entire program here. This is just a mess. So I don't know what happened there. Can I clear the whole thing with this? No. Okay. All right. Well, we can just reprogram it. It'll be fine. God. I don't, why is there not, a, is there a thing? Delete left, delete right, moves cursor. Oh, it's Z and V to move. Okay. But I don't see a, a delete all. That would be nice. All right. Probably should just remove the robot and yeah, anyway. Okay. So we're going to pick this up, click, cut, 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 right? And then walk and put it down there. Let's try that. I wonder if it'll do a three cut. Let's see if that will work. Go. Nope. I don't, I don't understand this at all because it should be two cuts. Oh no, no, it is. It is. Never mind. Okay. The problem is one is put down, then cut, cut, then pick up. Hmm. Right. Okay. So that was my bad there. Okay. I miscalculated. Anyway, we're going to go down here, put it in the rice thing, and then we're going to go, okay. Yep. Go here, 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 pick up here, 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 put down. That's the rice going in. And by this time, all the ingredients should be there. So we go space, space for cooking, pick up and then place here place. Okay. And then re go from the beginning. Let's see if that works. I don't get it. Why is there some, some vegetables already there? Oh, wait, I don't understand this. It looks like it's picking up. So it picks up one vegetables. We know there's only one vegetables. Pick up, move. Let's go with V and what is it? V, uh, no, I don't know. Anyway, let's, can we move with the arrows? We now can move with the arrows. Cut, cut, pick up, picking up the slice, but it's leaving. Oh, because it makes two. Oh no, that's a mess and a half. Okay, well, it's a fine. It will, we'll just, uh, yeah. I forgot that it makes two. That's my bad. I should have, I should have, uh, yeah, yeah. It does actually make two. Look at that. Um, okay. So this is more complicated then. So instead of going, so at the end of this, instead of going here, we want to go back here. Is there repeats in this? No, I don't think so. Okay, so go ahead and pick it up this thing again. Walk over here and put this in here. And then again, wait, wait. Um, and then go here. Okay. And then go back to the beginning. All right. So now we need to edit this chicken guy as well. So let's see, we need to get it after this point where it's already, um, like things are being picked up. So go here again. Actually we can go like from there is fine. Go back here. It doesn't really matter a lot because it's just going to be, yeah, it's fine. Okay. You put in there and then go back around to your return to start. Okay. Now the soy sauce, 
bot also needs to do like the same thing. So we'll just start this after that goes. So go to here and then drop here and then return to start. Um, now the rice cooker kind of, okay. So we start, we went back to the start and I'm going to just do the whole thing again. I wonder if there's a way to like copy this or I guess not. Hmm. All right, let's, um, let's do this again. So pick up, go here, rice cook, wait, pick up, walk, put over here. Oops, no, we don't need two of those. And then return to start. So that's, it doesn't matter when that happens because that's just gonna put the rice on the thing. Okay, so let's see if this works. All right rice okay good and there nice okay so there we oh no 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 okay so something happened here did this bot ever put in a second one let's reset this wait stop uh oh no 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 what happened open dude okay so let's start at, I don't know, and eh, just start at the beginning. I'm watching the soy sauce dude right now. Okay, that's fine. Soy sauce gets in there. This one gets confused. So something about the bottom one, this one is not working correctly. So let's just walk through. Okay, goes there, there. Um, so Okay, frying, then turns right, and then goes. So then why is it turning right, right again? Oh, because it's picking up the new thing, right? Ah, it's not dropping it. Okay, so drop, right, go, left, no. Yes, wait. Okay, we need to, no, we don't need to do this at all. We just need to go here, drop it in the frying pan, and then go back to the start position. Okay, let's try this and see if that works better. Chicken. Okay, that's fine. Oh, what happened? What's the problem here? Do we need to move like the soy sauce up? Can they not like access it at the same time? Let's see, maybe let's select this one. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. Select, record, I wanted to put a space in there because this looks like a space. Let's just move this ahead a couple instructions and see if that helps. Okay, so we made ones, okay. Okay, so the first bot, bot one is having issues, right? So it happens on the second uh, iteration here. So we have the cooking. So let's see, we, we did uh, this one. We go up, we get the vegetable. Then we turn right, right, go there. Oh, that's not good. We didn't get the rice, I think. I think that's the problem. So let's go here, 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 then go back here, go down and there. And that's where we need to do the double cooking. Uh, yeah, all right, let's try that. This is, it's kind of a fun game where it's like very interactive in terms of like, oh, that's not good. Like in terms of programming all of this and like figuring out what's happening. Okay, something happened after here where it's like, 
Okay, drop, go up, go there, pick up, turn, turn, go, oh no. Turn, turn, go down, drop. Then go right, right, go there. No, we don't need this. I'm really confused about what's happening here. Completely confused. Okay, so if we have this, so let's go here. This is where we pick up the rice again and put it in here. And then we have, I hope that's right. Not really sure what's going on with this. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and we just missed the pickup here. So let's go and record this guy again. And we, ah, there it is right here. We forgot to pick it up. All right, go. We good? Oh, we're good. Game says we're good. Okay, fine. I am. There's no way I'm making that into like a double system. I don't think you can even fit it there. Maybe, maybe you can if you use more stuff on the left. Um. Anyway, so uh, right. Chicken mole. Cool. Time for your first real gig. This one is for one of the smaller dynasties of Spire. Good work on the last mission. I need some time. I'll be in touch soon. You ever seen a picture of a chicken? Weird little things. Pretty sure they're all extinct now. Okay. So quick rotate uses the mouse wheel, arrow keys, or the right controller stick. Why haven't you told us this before? Because this was actually a comment I was going to make. Like, oh my god, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the placement of conveyor belts is super awkward. So I'm glad that they added this. That's quite nice. All right. So we have chicken mole, which needs three... Uh, well, technically two ingredients here. Looks like the mole sauce is the most complicated thing. So I think what we can do is maybe we put this uh, here. Let's do the chicken mole uh, distribution station. And then we'll get... This one, oh, it's actually just one thing. We can get the frying pan from here. Let's see, frying station. And then we have the chicken can come from here. So we can get chicken and we cut the chicken. So cutting station here and that goes into the frying pan. All right, so let's, let's do this quickly and get a bot here. We'll do a, oh no, no, we don't even need a bot actually, technically. Well, maybe we do, because I don't know if a conveyor belt will just shove everything into the fryer or what. Um, so anyway, let's program this bot real quick. Record, pick up. Uh, no. We need to rotate to the right. Okay, I didn't, I thought his hands were rotated to the right. Anyway, pick up this, go turn here, cut. Um, technically... Technically, yeah, let's move this bot over here and you go down there, record. So what you're going to do is you're just going to pick up and drop off and that's it. And then go back to back. Okay, here we're going to put in conveyor belts because I like conveyors. Um, there we go. So this is the way this works, right? It automatically goes there and yeah, you just get stuff. That's how that works. Okay, but we need to obviously time this because we're getting way too many chicken in here. So um, now looks like for the mole sauce, we need chocolate, cut vegetables, uh, broth, oh, and tomato stuff, tomato sauce. So let's do that. Um, conveyor belts can't really be programmed. So anything where you need like 
specific amounts, we're going to need to uh, put them very carefully in here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put this in a boiling station here. The boiling station will go here. And I don't know if you can have a conveyor belt from a boiling station. So I'm going to put in a bot here. So I want you to pick up, this is going to be at the very end of the thing. So I'm going to wait for programming that one. Anyway, with the broth though, so what we can do is have a bot here. Actually, do we, yeah, bot here. Oh no, actually this one can do this. If we have the slicing station, uh, let's see if that works. Actually cutting station, wait, what? What? We have limits on cutting stations? Oh no! Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh no, don't make us have limits. Ah. Uh, no. Ah oh, crap. So that means we can't do this. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do about that. Uh, we could do, let's just move some stuff here. If we need to put cutting stuff, we could do, We need the sauce in both of these. I was trying to think of like, yeah, do we put the, the, the cuttings in two stations? Do we have counters? Garbage station. Okay. Or a table. There's a table. Okay. So I think, I think what we need to do is just delete this. We need a bot here. Ah, I really wanted to use conveyor belts. This is so annoying. Uh, I don't like the limitations. I really hate limitations like this. It's not fun to me. I guess other people would probably think differently, but I think it's not fun. Uh, all right. So we're going to put a table and another table here. So I think what we do with this is we, we have to put one in the thing and then the other on the table. So let's start off with programming bot three. Let's record. Let's pick up this cut once and then return well technically 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 hmm, what we could do is we don't we don't need a table we could do cut once and then pick it up and then put one in here. Oh, we do need one table. Okay. So then this one record after we get to, uh, let's just delete that. So that after this one is cut, then we pick it up and place it on the table. So that's going to be one meat on the table. And then let's get rid of this table. So then we take bot four, pick up this after, let's see, pick it up and then turn. So this is going to be, what is it? Q. Uh, actually, we can do this and then, then you cut, no, then you cut, cut. And then, and then bot one is going to pick up from here and put in here. So that should get us meat and veg in this thingy see if that works. Nope. Oh wait, it does work. Hold on. So meat. K 
Okay, what's wrong with, why did four, like, oh, it probably didn't uh, return. Okay, so return to start. And then three is also going to be return to start. Okay, so that's fine. So that's all those guys are going to do right now. Now we need to make the sauce. Um, so now the sauce comes from, oh God, no, wait, yes, no, no, the sauce goes in a different area. Oh no. Oh God. I thought the sauce went in the frying pan. Oh, derp, derpity, derpity, derp, nigh, nigh. Okay. Uh, that was dumb. Okay, so we're just gonna put in, so we put in the meat and put it on the table. All right, that's fine. Let's leave that there for now. Um, this is not gonna work though because of the spacing and stuff. Dang it. Um, let's see, this can go, how many conveyors am I allowed? As many as I want, looks like it. Okay. Let's see, the frying pan is only needed one for one thing. Okay, so maybe. I don't know, I feel like I've, I've, I've organized this not well. All right, let, let me just think a minute. Let's see. So this, oh, instead of using the table for that. Okay. I, I know what I should do. Okay. Hold on. So here we do the cut cut. Then we put one in the thing. Okay. And then we pick up the other one. Ah, and then we wait. Then we wait, we pick it up and we wait. So there's nothing in the cutter right now. So here we push this forward until this is here and then we we've cut it uh then we pick it up and put it on the table then we pick up another one and then we wait okay because the vegetables need to go from somehow from the table into the pot okay oh god um all right so pot is what is gonna create our sauce and the sauce has to go in the frying pan. Okay, so we can move this down. This one, um, so let's get a new robot here. So this robot is going to pick up, oops, pick up and then drop in and then pick up again. Okay, so let's put this, what is it, Q? to move this here after the table thing is here. Okay. And then it's going to drop it in the pot and then we pick it up again. All right. So a lot of, a lot of loose threads here. We don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is so stupid. This feels so horrible, man. This is like so horrible. Ugh. All right. So this one, technically this one isn't doing anything, right? Yeah, because we don't need them to do anything. Actually, we could actually just use, instead of bot five. Oh, and you know what we should do? Just re remove this one and move four here and change the direction. Okay, so we pick up, then we change this direction to this. We drop off and then we change this direction to that and then we can pick it up again. Okay. So that's a little bit more compact. So this one gets the stuff from here to here, but we don't have that happening yet because we don't know when that's going to be finished. Now, oh my God. Um, so we need to have other things entering this pot. One of them is chocolate. One of them is broth. So the um, veggies are going that way. So let's just in insert chocolate and broth on this side. 
Um, and then the tomato stuff also needs to come in here. So this will be the blender. Okay. Um, I'm not really sure how this is going to work, but we'll see. I think let's try to do a conveyor belt here. I don't know if this is going to work, by the way. No clue. I don't know if you can do this with these, but we'll see. Let's see. Does that work? Oh. No, apparently not. Okay. So I think we need to have a, a bot hand feeding this because this is going to make three tomato things. So let's do a bot here. This bot is going to be yo. Uh, oh, no. Record, pick up, drop off. And that's like, yeah. All right. So now there's going to be a bot here who's going to start here, pick up this. No, nope. dude. Record, pick up, turn around, drop off. Go here, pick up, go down here, drop off. Okay, so some somehow we have some conflicts here. I'm not actually sure why. Let's see what happens. Wait, why did that one walk on top of the table? Oh, because it didn't reset. Okay. So then this bot... Uh, where are we on this timeline here? You're going to just reset because that's all we need you to do forever. Uh, yeah, there. Okay. So then this one, the tomato blender guy is fine. So after tomato blending, we need to have another, well, maybe, I don't know if this is a conflict or what, like, why are these red? I think it's a conflict, but I don't really know where it is because they're all just doing movement actions. They're not actually dumping anything into the same station or anything. So it's a bit confusing to me. Anyway, let's get this bot programmed to uh, pick up and then drop in here. Where is this bot? Okay, but this has to go after the blending phase. So we're just gonna do this. Uh, maybe two spaces because of, yeah, that. All right. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, no, this is wrong. Something very wrong went with bot number seven. Let's see. I wish it would also like the UI would scroll to the bot that you're recording since I specifically said record. Um, all right. So this... Let's just give it one more space. So then we pick up, turn, turn, drop off, and then we reset. Okay, so let's try that. I don't understand what's going on. Why is it picking up the chocolate? Dude, this is not what I asked you to do. Record. I'm gonna re re just skip the whole thing. So we're waiting for the tomatoes to puree. That should be fine. We should be able to pick up from here, turn, turn, drop off, and then reset. Um, actually, I'm not gonna have him reset. I'm going to have him put in, we're gonna put in a trash thing because, um, well, no. Yeah, let's do one trash thing. Uh, because the rest of them make two and this one makes three. So we want you to throw out one of these. Okay, so pick up the next one. Pick up, turn, trash. Okay, and then pick up the next one. All right, so that should be fine. Tomatoes. What is going on here? Is it, is it like, is it because he's trying to pick up? No, there's something definitely going screwy over here. 
I don't know what to do with this. This is just driving me nuts. Like, it feels like this should be... Maybe we do another space? This should be on on the conveyor belt. Three turns. But we'll see. Let's see. Maybe that's what it is. Let's see. There it goes. Okay. Okay. So, so what's happening is that... Um, this, okay, so this one, let's see what goes on with this one. What, I can't even tell what one it is. Okay, so this one, uh, after, basically after all the instructions are complete here, uh, or after all the pot instructions are complete, then we go to pot is weight one. So we do need to wait one, then pick it up, and then drop it here. Okay, let's see if that works, and then reset. We got the chocolate, that, that. Nope, didn't work. We're not getting... Oh, no, 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 wait, one, no, no, no. Uh, uh, uh. I messed up a bit. Just a tiny bit, because we're making the sauce here. So we need to put the sauce in the frying pan. So pick up the sauce, put it in frying pan. Um, frying pan has one weight. Then pick it up again, and then you can put it in here. And while they're doing all that, the others can put in the new ingredients. All right, and then reset. Let's try this. Chocolate, thing, thing. Why is this not working? Let's see, are the vegetables getting in here at all? Something is happening where this number three is not picking up the, uh, the, the vegetables again. Okay, so here we go. We pick it up. Uh, maybe, oh, we didn't, we need an extra mm, thingy. Right, okay, so that, that should help. Vegetables get sliced. Okay. But something is going wrong with number four. So number four is supposed to do what? Supposed to pick up from the table. Ah, where I think we need one space at least. Okay, pick up from the table, then put into the thing. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, because we did have that extra... Okay, four is getting it. Mole sauce. Oh, but something... For whatever reason... Okay, so one we need to fix again. Ugh. Okay. For whatever reason, it's not picking up the mole sauce. Do we need to have two of those? Drop it. Then wait. Then pick it up. Then go here. Drop. Let's see if that works. Because we are actually getting the sauce. But he tries to pick up the drumstick. I don't understand this. I really don't... Like, what is going on here? I wonder if I have to click on the thing and then it's like, turn on the heat. And then it cooks. I'm wondering if that's the thing that I need to do. Let's try that. Oh, whoops, the cursor has gone funny now. Okay, let's try that. Okay, no, it still picked up the wrong thing. So this thing... What is going on with this sauce here? Oh God, of course, it's three weights. One, two, three, then pick it. Oh my God, all right, I'm just derping apparently right now. Okay, getting the sauce, go, 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 and turn it on, and then we go. Beautiful, wow. Okay, so now, now the hard part of like, oh gosh, hmm. Let's get all of these other ingredients, because remember we got two chickens and two vegetables and three tomato sauces. 
Um, right. So all of these bots that are now like, they're now usually holding something, right? So let's start with bot number two. Let's just go in number order here. So we need to figure out, okay, so after they pick up stuff, then we drop it in here. Okay. And that can be like, maybe just one more behind. And then after this, then we reset. Okay, so we need to reset everything. Now then the next bot is this one. That one, let's say cut, 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 table, then it's picking up the next one. So then I'm gonna put this, uh, the here's from the table. So then over here, I'm just gonna put this one on the table again and then reset. Okay, so this one is grabbing from the table. So here is where we need to kind of like, okay, okay, the vegetables go in the pot, remember? Um, so that can go something like here or here, turn, pot, reset. Oh God, there's probably too many instructions here. Anyway, um, this one is not needed. Uh, the, this one, I kind of wish you could like, can you like group? No, you can't like copy instructions. That's a bit annoying. Uh, it's okay though, no worries. Okay, so this is going back to the starting. No, let's go back here. So what we need to start doing then is we grab another chocolate and then we put it in the pot. But we need to push this so that it's not conflicting with other things. Like way over here, because this is new pot land. Okay, so put that in the pot and then we go here, pick it up, put it in the pot and then return. Okay, so now this one, that's number seven. So here's, we're putting that one in the pot. So we picked up the next one. So let's turn around and then put that one in the pot and then reset. So here we should have basically everything getting back into the pot. Uh, let's see how this works. Let's just, it's, uh, is it possible to just like, you know what? I'm just going to step forward because this is very complicated. Okay, so that goes there. That goes there. This guy is delivering the mole. Okay, so there is where our number one starts to need instructions again. Let's see. Um, how do I get to the end of this? I can use arrow keys. Okay, that's fine. So there you are. You're back going here again. So here is where we're going to start cooking. And then we need three spaces. Then we pick it up again, shove it in here. And that one needs one cooking, pick it up, go over here and then drop off and then reset. Let's try it. Nope, 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 nope. Something wrong happened, no. Nope. Okay, so we're gonna have to step through this, I think. So after this happens, what's going on next? I want to watch, oops. So this gets in there, the broth gets in there. I wish there was a way to check on what's in each station. We're looking for bot number one. Okay, so that's the first mole sauce. So then we have chocolate then tomatoes, so then we need broth, and then the vegetables never get in there. Okay, so let's go to vegetable land. Oh, wow, okay, so yeah, this is basically not doing anything at all.
Does it actually pick up the vegetables? No, not quite. Okay, let's edit number four. Somehow, oh wait, it is picking it up though. So it went to the pot. Okay, then go back and then turn to the vegetable pot and then we need to go forward at some point in time, like there. Yeah, it's fine. And then reset. Let's see if that works. Okay, first vegetables. Huh? Um, okay. Four. Looks like it is conflicting with the tomatoes. Why? Maybe it's just, um, Okay, let's see. Okay, four with the tomatoes. Let's just put an extra space in there. Let's see if that works. Okay, so now, nope. Four decided to pick up from there instead. This is, this is somewhat annoying. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. Okay, so... It didn't pick up the new, oh, you know why? Because the other thing didn't put it on the table yet. No, no, oh God. Uh, one of the things that is frustrating is that um, this is a space. So I press space bar, but space bar like starts the whole thing. It's like, oh God. Okay, it's actually Q. So pick up from there and then let's see if that will work. Nope, it didn't work. Um, there's some other conflict going on here. Uh, let's see, can I, let's edit number one again. So here is, oh, this is where four is picking up stuff. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait on that one, I think. Yeah, that looks better because four is like dropping off stuff really late, or we could just do this and just make four go backward. I think that's probably easier, better. Better, easier. Come on, you can do it. Oh, we did it, yes, ha ha! Okay, well, there we go. Oh no, no, it's got messed up, oh no. So there's something wrong with this. Oh no. Um, eh, seven, so let's do this again. We'll just do a pause and step forward. So everything goes well until we have, all right, so this one gets cooking and everything else should be resetting, right? Wait, is there more? No. Something about all of these is wrong. So I'm gonna change these. Wait, is this the second part of it? Oh, it is actually. Wait, how? What is all this garbage? Oh no, something's gone very strange here. Where did all this garbage come from this garbage code I don't get this what is that let's see if we go to the end of this and what is going on here oh no it seems like it's okay okay that one is starting back there this one is starting back there that one is starting there this one is starting wrong so this one needs to just do a redo Okay, what about the next one? Six should start there. Seven. 
Wait, where is... Oh... Seven is fine. It should, it's, should start there. Okay, I think we got it now. Yes! Okay, hooray! We got it! Awesome! Well, alright, cool. So, that, uh, I will tell you, I was hoping to finish under an hour, but yeah, we had that last minute problem, but it's just fine. Anyway, um, that is Neon Noodles, so check it out. Um, it just came out, so uh, wishlist it or buy it on Steam. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you like seeing more factory games in this style, or do you prefer more open-ended factories? Or, you know, do you like the more puzzly types? Do let me know, I'm kind of curious. So anyway, check out all my other videos on YouTube. I have many, we're, we're doing a lot of games now, right now. Um, so thank you, huge thank you to all of my patrons and supporters and channel members and, and people who send super chats and super cheers and all of those kinds of things. Really appreciate it. You are great. Um, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.